Hello, we are FTC Team 3939 Robo GT. I'm Jose. And I'm Ryan. This year's block party game introduced the two inch cube element. One key mechanism to work with this element and task was the conveyor belt system. Another game element was the hanging bar. To accomplish the hanging task, we construct an 18 to 1 gear ratio arm to lift and hold the robot in, on the bar. To meet precision requirements and strategy flexibility, we incorporated an encoder and a drive system. Software was formatted for easy parameter changes. Our strategy for Autonomous was to play defensively by initially scoring an autonomous block in the nearest goal, then dominating the bridge by stopping the opposing robot from getting on it. In Teleop, our strategy is to score as many points in the pendulum goals as possible. The end game strategy is to either raise the flag or hang on the bar. Since our alliance generally could only raise the flag, we opted to hang on the bar to score higher points. This was achieved because we designed our robot to be extremely reliable. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. And I'm Thompson. We followed an iterative engineering design process to build our robot, then test it. We initially brainstormed, and given our resource limitation, we made a prototype. And if the prototype was successful, we followed through with the build implementation. Nothing is complete unless the design is tested. Math was used for calculations and measurements before any building is done. Encoders were used to give the robot precision, and our robot's function is to be reliable in completing its task. We made our design simple because more intricate components would lead to a higher chance of malfunction. All components were set on a stable structure unobstructed by wire. Prototyping and strategy scenarios were simulated in CAD to verify ideas. I'm Lisa. And I'm Angel. Facebook and email was used to keep all members informed of our planning and build statuses. We have Knock TSD using NDEP funds as our sponsors. This year, we received a generous grant of $2,000 from, from the National Center for Simulation for our teams. We also received fundraising items from Wawa to support our team. Morale and enthusiasm levels were held high because of our mascot, Mr. Robo who draws us attention at competitions and events. We had an outreach event at Waterford Elementary on Manufacturing Day. In this event, we introduced students to STEM and robotics as a big part in manufacturing. We wanted to show them that working with robots is fun and educational for kids. Thank you, FIRST Robotics!